really paved your own path in this industry from what I know, and I'm excited to dive into it. Mm -hmm. um, you've been a top producer at Oakland Real Estate for several years, medallion award winner of the Real Estate Vancouver board, and you've co-founded Parallel Project Marketing, a new development project marketing firm, and you've started a podcast called In the House, which I think is so incredible and so needed. Very excited to hear about that. With all that said, we just love to know how you got your start and what led you here. Oh, gosh. Um, I never really thought I'd be selling real estate, to be honest. I knew I was going to be uh, self-employed. And um, I went into school for sales and marketing. So I was, I really excelled in that field, but I didn't really know that real estate was going to be my my product and relationship mm -hmm. building was going to be my service. Um, and now I run a couple of project marketing companies where I specialize in helping developers brand their mm -hmm. their communities and multifamily um, uh, master plan communities and uh, and then do a resale on the side as well and manage my team from there. So you're a busy woman. Um, there's <laughs> there's room for everyone and there's and it's been a fantastic journey and I definitely have to thank all the partners that are in this business and all the industry leaders and, and um I would say through all the um lessons that I've learned throughout throughout this business is you just have to call your own shots and kind of be move out of your comfort zone yeah. and be courageous and just pave my own way by my own, my own definition of success. Wow. I mean, that's incredible. Knowing, identifying that so early on that that wasn't going to work for you. Mm -hmm. um, pushing past that, how do you continue, like what continue to, continues to motivate you and drive you? Mm -hmm. Strength in numbers is wow. the team members are who's gonna pull weight for you because you want them to rise to the top too. And, and for me, that's my biggest lesson learned. Wow. And from there, that's why I don't take credit um, for the success of our team. It's, it's a joint collaboration. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I was mentioning before we started this, um, this uh, talk, when someone calls me boss, I kind of get like a like little bit like weird, weirded out because we are all working together to a common goal and it's to service our clients. Um, I know you've got your po podcast running. Yes. How often does that happen? Yeah. So the podcast came out of nowhere. Um, I actually uh, was never a book reader or a podcast listener. And, but I felt that I needed a platform to, to talk about my journey and to talk about the, the type of uh, what I want to do to help the community. Mm -hmm. And I felt, you know, it's a love-hate relationship with social media. I'm, I said, I might as well use it to the greatest good. Mm -hmm. And it's been such a fantastic experience. I've been able to learn at, from so many leaders, um, from all our guests that have come on. So yeah. this podcast really is just for us to have an outlet. It's um, me and Tony Singh. We we run the podcast together um, and we release it once a week. So every Wednesdays, I think we're at like 27 episodes now and we started last year. Um and it's been great. Yeah, it's been super fun. Great feedback from everyone. And just even the guests, when they comment and provide feedback to us, they're signing up to the programs that our guests are offering. And so that tells me that, you know, even just one person providing that feedback, it it drives me to continue doing more podcasts. Oh, and I mean, what great timing. I think now more than ever, everyone is turning to online, you know, video, podcast. But such a such a great time to to really get that conversation going. 